What's going on everybody? It's Profane Hurricane and I'm back here with more Dark Souls 3. Now, I have to tell you something. So I was playing off camera as I've been known to do and I accidentally, maybe on purpose a little bit, killed everybody in Firelink Shrine. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would you do that? Uh, because Patches was here and he had killed Sigurd, I guess. He had his armor. He tried to sell it to me, and I didn't appreciate it. So I didn't buy it. I just killed him and took it. So once I killed him, then I got to wondering, well, he drops stuff when I kill him. What if other people drop stuff when I kill them? And they do. But... <clears throat> the uh, blacksmith won't do anything for me now. Um, looked it up online, and as it turns out, you have to atone for your sins. And in order to do that, you have to come to the Undead Settlement, like I've done. And... You have to go to a special statue that's down here and pray for your mortal soul or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's what we're doing because we got to fix this. We can't. Uh, we can't not have a blacksmith. We can't make it through the rest of the game without having a blacksmith. So, I'm gonna kill these rats. I think it's in here. I think this is it here. Request absolution. 56,000 souls? Oh my god. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do uh, something about that. Crap. Well, we're halfway there. Son of a bitch. Uh, so yeah, pro tip, uh, in case anyone was thinking about doing it, do not kill everyone in the in Firelink Shrine, because it's very bad. Um, so we'll go back up here. Shoot. Um, anyway, you may notice, you may not notice, I don't know, but you may notice that I have awesome new armor, and that is because... When I killed everybody, um, I reset the area because I wanted to see if everybody came back to life, and they did. But an invader showed up, and he had this sweet-ass armor. Uh, no, he didn't. He had the shield and the hammer. I bought the armor. That's what happened. The, the shop lady had it. So anyway... That's where we're at. But the other point in my travels and in my killing of people that don't deserve to die, and now I'm being punished for it, is I made it through the dungeon to the profane capital here. Um, profane capital, profane hurricane. It's a thing that we're doing. Um, so anyway, this is where we're at now. And I was just kind of poking around, seeing what was what. Um, there's gargoyles here, which suck the biggest dick to fight. I don't know how to fight them successfully. And those guys down there throw fire. Yeah, that, that's what they do. Oh god, and they're so accurate. Those ladies 
are more of the fire ladies. We don't want any part of them. Because they are a bitch. Uh, oh, hi. Hi. What's this? Yorm the giant? Oh god. I made a huge mistake. to him. Why? But why though? supposed to do to you? Yeah, that's doing like no fucking damage to you. like I was doing nothing is because I'm trying to remember how to do the goddamn thing the special weapon thing and I don't remember how to do it uh, information no can I 
Show item info. Storm King. Assume stance to imbue sword with storm. Most effective when facing giants. Okay, how do I assume stance? How does that work? That's not how that works. Oh, it's L2. Okay. Is that... Alright, I guess that's it, then. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Well, that, that's information that would have been fucking useful to me. Which I guess is an information that is already well known, but I don't I don't use weapon arts, so that's not really my jam. Huh. Give, 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 give. Okay. So this time we'll get him. Or we won't. I don't know. We'll see. We'll try. All we can do is try. What's up, buddy? Oh, shit! That's definitely what we're supposed to be doing. It's kind of awesome that you get a weapon to use in the battle against him that like completely wrecks his face off. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Terrifying when you don't know what you're doing, but all in all, not so bad. What did we? Only a storm can fell a great wood. Well, he's not great wood. He's a he's a dude, right? All right. So, light the bonfire. Let's travel to Firelink Shrine. We need fifty six thousand points to uh, unfuck ourselves, basically, and we have. 38,000 points off of that. Um, I should look up and see what his uh, weapon gives me. Uh, boss Souls. Dark Souls 3. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is the behind the scenes. You guys get to you guys get to hear me look shit up on my computer. It's pretty exciting. Soul of Yorm the Giant. It gives me 20,000 souls. Or his machete. But I'm fairly certain that his machete is going to require a, a crazy ass amount of something to use. And also, it'll be two handed. So where's, uh, where's what's-his-face? 
to the little man. He's over here. Little man. Hello. Yeah, I killed him too. I killed everybody. Bet your sweet ass I did. Okay, so... That requires 38 strength to use. And it's free. That costs 40 strength to use. And it's free. What is the damage? 185? Whoops. And then... Mine is 256 right now. And my strength is... What did I say? 38? Yeah, that requires 10 whole levels to use it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say... Use this. And didn't I get another one? I thought I got another one. I did not. Soul of Yorm the Giant. What was the other thing that I got? Oh, the Cinders of a Lord. That's that's up on his thing though, right? See, Abyss Watchers thing was up there. Yorm the Giant of the Profane Capital. Yes. Yeah, because this is all swords from the Abyss Watchers, which I didn't notice before. It's pretty awesome. Hell yeah. Does that do anything? Does Chippy over here talk to me now that I've brought the cinders of a lord? Or is it just a thing that happens that there's nothing I can do with it? Shit. I walked off the wrong one. This is that pro gamer skills right here, everybody. You can see it in action. Walking off the wrong goddamn ledge. So no, he doesn't. Um, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just go ahead and... Shut up. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this so that I can get my get my thing fixed. And then I'll have 8,000 souls left afterward. So we can do that. Um, which is this one. I wonder if you can, I mean, I'm sure you can, if you have a crap load of patience, uh, beat Yorm the Giant without using the Storm of Swords or whatever the hell it's called, which I get to keep, which probably isn't very useful against anything else, and probably does, like, next to no damage. It's like a novelty weapon. Ouch. Ouch. You rat. These rats are dicks. Oh, I got my souls back from the the rats down in the other thing. Uh, in the last episode that I had stopped when I lost all my souls in the tunnel. And I went back there and I got them. Because I... As you guys know, I made it to the the next uh, bonfire, so really no mystery there. Yes, fine. You were cleansed of sin. Great. So now, if I uh, homeward bone, where's my homeward bones? Do I not have any homeward bones? Oh, I have an undead bone shard? That's cool. I don't know where I got that from. Weird, I thought I had homeward bones. Well, I am without homeward boners. So, we're gonna go back the long way. 
Um, but anyway, when I do stuff off camera, it's not like I'm trying to beat the game. Um, I'm trying to get a sense of where I'm at and make it a little bit more pleasurable to watch if I'm, you know, fumbling around in the dark with my dick in my hand. Um, that's probably not going to be very exciting for everybody. But I also don't want to be like, you know, just a, like a tour guide kind of thing. Like, well, if you look to your right, there's some assholes that we're going to run past. Be sure to keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Um, that was a strong bad reference, which I'm sure everyone that's watching is just pissing themselves with laughter because everybody remembers what that is, right? Strong bad? No? Okay. Just me then. All right. Are you good? Yeah, he's good. All right. He's happy with me again. We did it. So... I can reinforce that. a D better tight night scale it's not gonna hurt me to do anything with it I don't have anything else to do with it can I do my shield I got that sweet ass shield too uh, with the uh, the guy that busted into my my joint here um, and so I ha I have his shield and this is how big it is and then if I try to uh, do the if I try to do the the uh, parry it I just stand there and go <sighs> it's kind of funny um, but I have Sigurd set as well. I got the Katarina, the Katarina set. Um, but I was not gonna turn down this friggin' awesome looking uh, gargoyle suit. Thing's badass. Um, so she doesn't have anything for me. Yeah, she doesn't have anything for me. And this broad is not going to help us because we don't have enough solely souls. Right? Yeah, 18,000. So, um, tell you what, let's go back to. Yorm and see what else is down that hallway because I just turned the first turn that I saw I don't know that there's anything else down here but as long as we're here and before you ask no I'm not killing time because I'm afraid to go back and try to fight uh, Pontiff Sullivan that's ridiculous and insulting that you would think that that was the case. Just because that's the case doesn't mean there's anything wrong with that. He's legitimately terrifying. He moves very fast, and I can't do a good goddamn thing to him. And it's scary. Alright, so there's fire ladies there, there, and there. These are the fire ladies that are that can hit me from down there. They don't pay very good attention to what's happening. They do spit fire, which is weird. And you're dead. Did you have fun? Oh, there's all kinds of stuff down here. Okay. Those are probably kill me gargoyles, aren't they? Gonna spring to life. So 
this stuff back here. Nope. We got a rusted coin. That's about it, right? And then there's more down here. Which probably will be where the gargoyles attack me. If I'm being honest. Oh god. Rusted coin? I didn't want that. Damn it. Alright. So I guess they're not gonna wake up and try to kill me? Well, that's nice of them. It's a rare occurrence in this place. Okay, so... What else is up here? Is that a... I thought that was a gargoyle. Is there anything over there? Like, do I need to be here? I don't see any doors or anything. I don't even see items. see any reason to go over there. And there's the gargoyle that jumps down. Is he gonna jump down when I go over here? Yes he is. Bye! Not interested. I gave it the office. has a limited aggro range, which I appreciate. It's cool that Yorm has all this crap laying around. Like, is he the lord of hoarding? Is he the horde lord? Um... So I guess... Crap. I guess there's really no other thing for me to do other than go do Pontiff Sullivan, which, I don't know if you can tell by the sound of my voice, I'm super excited to go do. I mean, I beat a Lord of Cinder. That's got to count for something, right? But I don't think it does. And I wish that my, my fancy uh, Yorm killing sword did fucking anything to anything else, like a one-shot Pontiff Sullivan, that'd be amazing. But it won't. But that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna look into it. I'm gonna see what uh, I'm gonna see what the internet has to say about uh, what you do after Yorm, um, and see if maybe that will be something I'm more down for. Uh, at least until I get some some more levels or. Something else. I don't know. I'm a giant pussy uh, about going to fight Pontiff Sullivan. And that's fine. He handed my ass to me like six times in a row. So, anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I will see you next time, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.